Hey guys, it's Ren Nomster, and today I am in the first redstone world I ever created. Now, I was looking through my maps, and collectively, I have about 30 to 50. 20 maps in between being random survival maps that I played once and then got bored of, uh, adventure maps, and a mix between redstone maps that I started but didn't really stick to. This is the first redstone map that I ever really dedicated my redstone builds to. So what that means is if I built something, whether I liked it or not, I left it there. <laughs> so I'm not going to go through the map in this episode or, or anything, I guess. I just wanted to mention that just to show where this build is coming from. <laughs> now, to put a little bit of a, um, a view on it, I guess, per se, uh, I haven't used this map since before I made a Reddit account. <laughs> So 13,000 Minecraft Reddit Karma later and a whole entire semi-successful YouTube channel later, uh, I'm coming back to it. And I think that's really cool. <laughs> um, I'm coming back to it for a nostalgic reason mostly, but I just want to show you something. Basically to share with you guys what I found. So this is something that you probably don't recognize at all. Uh, I didn't even recognize it until I kind of got a closer look of it. It's pretty big, it's pretty clunky, uh, if you look at all the stuff around it, obviously that's the main theme of the map. <laughs> Clunkiness was my motto back then. Uh, <laughs> compactness wasn't what I wanted. Basically I just wanted stuff to work. This works beautifully. <laughs> so what is it? Basically in this episode of whatever this is, I'm going to be showing you guys how to count in binary. Now it's a pretty useless skill. Uh, for most cases. Obviously in some cases it's very valuable. Now the reason I want to show you guys it is because I don't know a single other person, personally or non-personally really, that knows how to count binary or even for that matter knows what binary is. So that's what I'm going to be explaining in this video. Now the reason I want to explain that stuff is because I taught myself how to count binary. Nobody else taught me. I just kind of sat down one day and looked up on the internet how to count binary. Now, I didn't really get it at all. Uh, and that's the problem for most people is that they just don't understand, first of all, what it's meant for, and second of all, how to count it or why they want to count it. I taught myself using Minecraft, using this, and I built this myself. So that's beautiful, I think. <laughs> I guess. I don't know what you guys think about it. But basically, what we have is eight lamps. Wait. We have seven lamps. <laughs> so, the first lamp is one. The second lamp is two. And then it doubles. Which technically, two is double of one. But that's besides the point. <laughs> so, two goes to four. Then to eight. Sixteen. Thirty-two. Sixty-four. Now, the point of binary really is to compact things and to basically have a different way of counting things. That's not the point of it, but that's what it is. So, first of all, what are numbers? Yes? What's the decimal system? The decimal system is 0 through 9. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, for those of you who don't know how to count. <laughs> and I guess if you don't know how to count decimal, you probably shouldn't be trying to learn how to count binary. But, maybe. <laughs> so... What binary does is it counts with only two digits, a zero and a one, or a zero and a not, or a not and a one, my bad, <laughs> if you're from the UK, I guess. Um, so what that is, is very difficult to understand for a lot of people, but basically, it's just math. Very simple math. Very, very simple math. It's just hard to represent sometimes. So what I have here are some lamps that show the on-off signals of it. So basically, there's a 0 and there's a 1. 0 means it's off, 1 means it's on. It's very simple. It's an on-off state. So all of these lamps are off, meaning it's 0. There's not a single one that's on. So if we hit this button right here, you hear some pistons fire, and then the 1 lamp turns on. So we have 1. So how do we get 2? Well, the 2 lamp will turn on, and the 1 lamp will turn off. Very simple. 2 hits of the button counts up to 2. No, I should mention probably every time I hit this button, it counts up one. So, yeah, that's that. So how do we get to three? Now, as you can see, there's no sign for three. 
it should be right there in the decimal system, but like I said, this is binary, not decimal. So how do we get to three? Well, like I said, simple math. So how do we get to three? Two plus one. The two and one light are both on. It's an on and off state. So two and one are on equals three in the decimal. All the other lamps are still off. Now how do we get to four? So you can see there's already four placeholder here. So the two and one turn off and the four turns on. It's a pretty beautiful system, I think. And it works all the way up to however much you want. Right now, it counts up to 127 using just seven lamps. And I think that's awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just carry on. Uh, let's get to eight, just four more clicks. It'd be four plus one equals five. Four plus two equals six. Four plus two plus one equals seven. And what equals eight? Four plus four goes all the way to eight. So on the subject of simplicity, let's go ahead and take a look at the redstone behind the curtain. Yeah. Take that as you will, I guess. <laughs> this is the way I like creating things. The only advice I can give to anybody who's either trying to inform people of things or trying to create entertainment, I suppose, is do what you like. Do what fancies you. Listen to the people, of course. Listen to what they like. But never do something that other people like that you don't just because the other people like it. It just doesn't make sense. It's very ineffective. It creates a lot of clunkiness, and it leaves you with a bunch of craters in the ground, I guess, is the moral of the story. Thanks for watching.